You can sketch with any pen and paper, but we recommend layout or marker paper, decent fine liners and markers for shading and colour. Before making heavy lines on the paper, it's a good idea to rough out your drawing by only lightly touching the paper with your pen. This gives you a structure to work onto. Try to draw with long, continuous strokes rather than lots of small lines. For long lines, draw from the shoulder without your elbow and wrist touching the paper. For small curves, use the natural arc of your elbow or wrist. You need to be comfortable when sketching, so don't forget to turn the paper and use the natural arc of your arm. Lines that help you structure your drawing are really useful and add to the final effect. If you don't want these, you can use this drawing as an underlay for a neater sketch. Differing line weights are really useful to communicate your design. Thicker lines around external edges make your sketches stand out. For more organic forms, drawing contour lines helps communicate the shape of surfaces. You can also do this with shading. Add definition and detail to your drawings by shading. Make sure you decide on the light source direction and think about how the object would have lighter and darker surfaces. Use markers, hatching or both. Adding colour to sketches can help bring them to life. With markers, you can add extra layers to darken the colour or mix marker colours together. Pencil crayons and pastels can also add to the effect. There are different types of perspective drawing. Naturally, most designers tend to draw in three-point perspective as this looks more natural and realistic. Thanks for watching. Those were our top 10 tips for sketching. Comment on what you would like us to show you next or follow us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Just search PDTD Staff Human. If you're interested in studying with us, check out the info below for a link to our website and open day page.